Welcome to the City of Richmond Parks and Rec Weekly Sports Report. For those of you just tuning in, again, I'm your host, Coach Jones, coming to you live from the Pine Camp Rich Rec Studios. Now, I've spoken with the several families and a lot of the kids, and I want to say keep up the good work, and we appreciate the fact that you guys are tuning in. And to the kids that asked, Coach Jones, why wasn't I on the show? Why wasn't I featured on the show? We're coming at you. We have a lot of footage. We got to edit, guys, but we're going to come at you. We got a lot of other special projects coming up, so just be on the lookout for us. Families, stay tuned. And again, the community, we appreciate you. Now, we're in week six. And we have some exciting interviews. I think you guys are like these. Take it away, Connor. I mean, with Coach Calvin, great game tonight. You know, it's always for the kids. What is something that you preach to your kids in terms of body language and just the way that they play as a team? Sportsmanship. Have fun. Enjoy playing with the people that you're playing with. It gives them discipline. It gets them ready to go forward. Is there any advice you would give them, you know, just for future, for future references, you know, as in growing up to be a young man, you know, because you're their role model, you're somebody that they look up to. So what would that be? Keep practicing, work to get along with everybody and don't give up. Don't ever give up. Thank you for that, Coach Calvin. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Let's head on over to Henderson Middle School Gymnasium where we have the Battery Park Vikings versus the Southside Ducks, the girls' midgets division. Zoe from the Southside Ducks brings it down and gets met at half court by Nia Ginger as she gets the steal and lays it up for two. Battery Park gets stuck in the paint but finds a shot and it's up and it falls short, dropping in the hands of a Nia Ginger for the putback layup. Anaya drives it hard to the basket and puts it up and it's no good, but gets her own rebound and finds Malaya for the easy layup. Anaya is down the lane to put up the layup and it's up and it's no good. Zoe gets the rebound for Southside but loses it as Malaya steals it and puts it up for a layup. Anaya brings the ball down and shoots and that's an N1! Count it! Anaya drives to the basket and puts it up and misses the layup, but Malaya comes up with the tough rebound and finish at the basket. Great game, Battery Park. And to Anaya and Malaya, I saw you girls controlling the boards offensively and defensively. Keep up the good work. And to the other team, keep up the good work. Go back to the drawing board, practice hard. Your coaches will help you, see you through it to your next victory. Good luck. Productions, I'm here with Lanaya Ginger. Hello. Great game today. Thank you. What made you play so explosive tonight? I would say just um, motive to win and my teammates cheer me on as we go. We cheer each other. Who is your idol that you look up to for basketball or just for any athlete in general? I look up to Aaliyah Boston because she plays the same she plays the same position as me. Like when I play AAU, I play center, so I look at her a lot. Well, keep looking up to her and then just keep playing the game that you're playing. Good game. Thank you. Let's go over to River City where we have the Battery Park Vikings versus the Broad Rock Bandits. Chum brings it down and passes it to Josh. Josh passes it to Mir for the knockdown three. Josh inbounds it to Chum and he puts up the float for two. The Broad Rock Bandits brings it up the court and gets met by Chum and they pass it and it's stolen by Josh the Professor for the layup. Chum puts up the layup and it's no good, but the professor gets the rebound and cleans up the mess. 
Valerie Park gets trapped, but gets the ball out to Mir for the two. He knew what to do. Congratulations to Battery Park. Great game, Broad Rock. Hey, special announcement. Two female lead coaches, Battery Park, Coach Dominique, Broad Rock, Coach Kia. Keep up the good work, ladies. Take it away, Connor. Thank you, Don. I'm here with Jameer Little. Jameer, great game out there. Great game out there. How do you feel like you perform? I perform pretty good. I have to learn how to pass the ball and move around, and I have to get my shot and like aim a little bit so I can hit the rim or try to make it in and stuff. What was some key point, some key things from your coach that she said to y'all out there? She said we have to, we have to listen. Follow us to the Henderson Gymnasium to watch the Pee Wee Division game, Battery Park Vikings versus the Verina Blue Devils. Ball gets inbound for Verina. Mason gets the ball and puts it up for the layup, and it's good. Mykeen passes it to Malik. He rips through and goes to the baseline and puts it up and one. Count that. Mykeem goes for the layup, and it's up, and it's no good, but Malik gets the rebound and puts it up for the putback layup. Zyquiz, Zyquiz, you played a great game today. You was flying up and down the court. What made you want to dominate this game? Uh, I'm doing it for my uncle, RP. I'm just really trying to have fun while I still can. This scene was just like a warm-up practice game for me. Nothing normal. Just like practice. Do you think you're going to bring that type of energy for the next game? Yes, sir. Well, I expect to see it. Good game, man. Thank you. We traveled over to Martin Luther King Middle School to watch the Pee Wee Division play. East End Wildcats versus the Battery Park Vikings. Deshaun passes it to Jihad for the two-pointer. Mitchell brings it up the court, and it gets stolen by Mayana as she passes it down the court to Antonio, and he finishes at the basket for an easy layup. Mitchell brings it up the court, crosses over, and he shoots, and he banks the two. Mitchell gets stopped and he passes it to Mr. Lewis as he takes the tray ball and it's up and you can end that bedtime story. Good night. Deshaun brings it up the court, passes it to Barber and he goes back to Deshaun. Deshaun finds Mayana at the elbow for the backboard finish. Mitchell brings it up the court and crosses it over and makes it at the free throw line, shoots it in the face of the defender and it's good. Lewis passes it to Mitchell as he takes the ball to the hole for the tough finish. Mitchell passes it to Mr. Lewis at the three-point line, and he finds Harris in the paint for easy two points. Mitchell passes it, but Deshaun comes up with the steal and finishes at the basket for two.
We had a great game at Hoskins Gymnasium, the Midget Division, Hoskins Eagles versus the Calhoun Cougars. We got the jump ball, and Mr. Kane tips it to his teammate Harris as Harris finds Zay as he puts up the easy layup. Leron catches the air ball, but puts it up for the finish. Mr. Harris brings it up the court and dishes it to Allen as he puts up the layup. Harris is at the free throw line, and he puts it up and sinks it in. Carter hustles to the ball and gets the steal and passes it to Bullock for the finish. Javion answers with the and one basket. He said, get in the weight room, young fella. Javion makes a move and gets separation to take the three and it's up and it's good. The ball gets past the Zay as he takes the three and banks it with ease. Mr. Davis brings it down and passes it to Flowers as he makes the backboard two-pointer. Javion brings it up the court and passes it to Jordan as he finishes at the basket. Allen takes the three-point shot and comes up short. Kane gets the rebound and puts it up for two points. Harris gets the ball and takes the three and banks it in. Harris passes it to Carter and he puts it up and it falls short for Zay to get the rebound and muscles his way to get the easy layup. Kane brings the ball down court and Euro steps over two defenders for the easy layup. Davis drives the ball down the right side and puts up the floater and it's in. Kane takes it for the fast break and finishes at the basket for two. Zay meets at the rim and makes the easy layup. Coach Connor, that was a great game. Both teams have range. Now, I won't say his name, but I'll let you do it. Take it away, Coach Connor. Thank you, Don. I'm here with Coach Key. Coach Key, y'all had some ups and downs, but overall, y'all got the win. But defensively, y'all were flying around on the court. Absolutely. So what made them do what they did this game? I mean, honestly, we've been working on defense, you know, uh, working on our press, how we could trap and stuff, and they just implemented that today, you know what I mean? Just playing hard, you know, we won't get in our boards on the offensive side, so we definitely did it on our defensive end, so that was cool. What are some things that you want to sharpen up for the next game? Um, layups. We got we to gotta make our layups, man. Um, that's one of the things that we've been focusing on or whatever, and just today just won our game. So we're going back to the drawing board, making sure we, you know, focusing back on the basics, which is layups. Zay, you played a great game today too, man. Your team overall, you know, like, she, like Coach said, the layups was a big factor. Overall, you played a great game. You were flying around the court, playing defense, and shooting your shots. So what made you play the best performance today? I did like pretty all right, but I you know I gotta keep I gotta work on my layups and stuff. I gotta work on my shot, follow through, make sure I gotta hit my free throws pretty much. Well best of luck to all of y'all next game. Hey I appreciate you man. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to keep it here at the Hoskins Gymnasium for the junior division. We have the Hoskins Eagles versus the Calhoun Cougars.
White is at the free throw line and he puts it up. It bounces and goes in. Ball gets inbounds to Baker as he finds his teammate Jerron to finish at the basket for two. Jerron passes it to LaShawn as he finishes at the basket for the layup. Baker zips it to Jerron and he makes the layup. Shaheen puts up the hook shot and it's up and good. Shaman takes it to the basket and puts up the floater and it's in. Baker crosses over and puts up the teardropper and it's in for the end one. Javon passes it in to Jeremiah as he puts up the tough layup. Baker passes it to LaShawn as he takes the open three-pointer and it's up and it's good. Shaman passes it to Javon. Javon gives it back to Shaman and he takes the three. Cash money. Javon passes it to the guy in the hot seat. Shaman in the corner as he takes the three and it's up. Mama, there goes that man again. Shaheen drives it and passes it to his guy, Jerron, as he finishes with the layup. Little domino effect there, but Shaman shows sportsmanship. Love to see it. Baker drives it down the right lane, crosses over to the left, puts his shoulder into the defender, and shoots the easy jumper. Shaheen using his speed to meet at the basket and finishes for the layup. The ball is in transition and the Eagles need a spark. The ball goes to Shaman as he takes it down and hits the three-pointer to keep it close. He got ice in his veins. Great game, fellas. Great game. I saw a lot of great action. Take it away, Connor. Thank you, Don. Hey, man, it came down to the wire, coach. It yeah. came down to the wire. It got spicy. Yeah, it did. What made you keep your team in the game mindset-wise, body language? I mean, I just think, man, these kids, they go through adversity every day in Jackson War. Just the way of life, the gunshots, two months. So a basketball, a basketball game to me at the time, they should be kids and having fun. So if you can go through all that all week, a good game on Saturday should be nothing. I feel like y'all was unstoppable on the defensive side. They had no, they had no options. They had nowhere to go. Right. And it seemed like everybody was on, on point with the energy. Right. You think y'all can keep that up for the next game? Man, it, it seemed like the tougher the game get, the more them kids show heart, man. I'm just proud of them, man. We got to we gotta get a little more discipline because their attitudes get the, the best of them, you know. But I guess, like I said, coming up where we from, man, you got to be aggressive. But you got to know how to control your attitude and not let your attitude control you. Appreciate that one, Coach. And that's the end to our week six sports report. Again, for those of you just tuning in, I'm your host, Coach Jones. And listen, I want to thank you guys, our faithful followers. I want to thank you guys. We would like to thank you guys. And don't forget to hit the like button and hit the button below to subscribe. Please follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thank you guys.